And that leads to something that I think is incredibly important. Whatever the client does is right. Um, and therefore, I actually want the client to be totally honest and open. If something isn't working, this is good, not bad. Um, I think there's a number of important things around this. Firstly, from my point of view, I don't want the client to fake it because if they fake it, I don't know what's going on. I actually want the client to be as open as possible because it's fine if things don't work because I can still lead them from what's not working to what will work. And it also gets me to change what I do based on the information that I'm getting. So I never want a client to be nice to me. I want a client to be totally straight. And one of the skills as a hypnotist or influencer is always be looking at a client's non-verbal reaction. Because by looking at her body, when she nods, when he nods, um, um, when they accept anything, it's just, it's just a feedback loop. Because in some ways, hypnosis or influence is a feedback loop. And the thing that makes it work is getting accurate information. So one of the things, and we haven't really done it here, but it's, I think it's important to emphasize is you actually want clients to be totally honest with you. Um, now, there is another thing that I think is very interesting. For a lot of people, expressing how they feel, what they see, um, what they hear, expressing their verbalizing what's going internally, externally, in doing that process, they're actually connecting to their emotions, to their visions, to um, some of their what they hear. They're actually connecting with themselves. So if you get people to verbalize what's going on internally, externally, they're often learning about themselves. Um, if they have to fake it, if they have to put in filters that say, I can't say that, I can't say this, I've got to be nice, it actually... Uh, screws up their it, it, it screws up their learning ability it's tremendously empowering for people in a safe environment you can't do it everywhere but in a safe environment where i'm working for somebody to let somebody be a hundred percent truthful to the experiences they are inside so there's two reasons that i want clients to be totally open and say what's true one is if they are i can always lead them to somewhere else i can always change what i'm doing i can use their responses to lead them to somewhere else. But secondly, it can be a tremendous learning, pro, pro, uh, learning, learning process for them um, because it helps them connect to what's going on. And my view is if they can express what's going on internally, they will learn loads themselves. So I think it's very important and very empowering to let your clients be totally honest and encourage them to be honest. Don't, don't, don't shut them down if they say what you don't want to hear. Actually, in these situations, you want to tell that you want them to tell you what they might have thought you don't want to hear.